This is just a quick little uh, video. I hope it's quick. Anyway, the um, reason I'm doing a screen recording is to show some of the things that I've got recorded, which is probably a couple of hours of recordings that I need to go through. And this is something I did uh, yesterday as of uh, while I'm doing this recording. Today is Monday, the uh, 2nd of September. And this folder here has just some short um, video of an update of what I'm doing in the trailer. Uh, these two right here are the uh, MP4 video, and then the HD is over here. I normally don't do HD video because it just takes up way too much digital space. As you can see, it's 842 megabytes just for couple of minutes of video over here and then these here um, are, are the same exact videos but they're mp4 it's almost the same quality it looks pretty close but they're a lot easier and quicker to um, upload and to edit or I should say edit and upload and I am going to add this little piece of video to these and then do a uh, that's what the video is that you're watching it's going to be these two here and this screenshot. I've got a window repair uh, that's repairing the broken window and all my recordings are in MP4 and HD when I use the camcorder the drone is has different settings. Then there's the the mobile home repairs. This is mostly electric here. Um, when I first brought it in here, probably getting close to a month ago, if it's not a month already, and then the electric work, I started on that. And uh, let's see here. And this is mostly electric here. You probably have to zoom in to see some of these. Uh, <coughs> Got a little piece. Anyway, same thing here. This is uh, electric here again. So I'm going to uh, be editing a lot of this stuff out and it's going to take me a long time to do it. And I do have a little bit of truck stuff I'm going to try to work in. Um, here's some more for the mobile home, the runners, because I didn't see anything on doing the concrete on YouTube when I did this, so I just had to do it my way. And I'll be the first one doing uh, runners on YouTube, apparently. So there's uh, quite a few. Some of it's on in the drone. Some of it's, I don't know. I have to open all these up and see what I've got in there. This is before I did the, uh, the runners, the concrete. So. Okay, I think I'm. Uh, there's going to be some of that going on eventually. And here's one for a truck. I know that's what most of you guys want to see is the truck videos. So there is one here when I, when my truck uh, wasn't starting and I had to uh, get a jump start and drive the thing home while it was running and get my last delivery off while it was running. And they don't let you do that, but they, they let me get away with it. And so there is one there that I'll get the editing done. That's from couple months back so I'm not going to forget about you truck guys and get that in as well so that is what this little piece of uh, screenshot is all about to let you know what's going on and that the timing on the mobile home videos is not all that um, it's not one step after another they're going to be all mixed up and I apologize for that but that's kind of what I'm working with here. So here we go with the rest of the video. Another quick review on the mobile home project. Today is Sunday, September 1st, um, 2019. And right in the middle of the picture there, you see we got a new door, it's a glass door. It's in the kitchen. I'll show the inside of that in a second. 
Um, that's a window that was where the door is and I don't know what to do with it since most of the mobile home has the same size windows I will just save it probably in case I need it have a broken glass someday anyway got the uh, wiring done not done but done where it was opened up at the bottom of the mobile home on that side from the master bedroom on through the kitchen and to the front door that all that siding was off a friend of mine that's a carpenter came over and installed the door for me and the siding and um, I was going to put foam board up under the siding not now but in a year or two take all the siding off and redo it and put foam board on and he says no he says it, it costs a little bit more but let's just go with the OSB you know it's kind of like plywood he says let's just go with that put that on it's a lot better and it's got almost as good insulating qualities but it's ten times stronger than the foam board so we're going to go with that but not now that's another project because uh, we'll have to do this in stages it's going to cost a lot of uh, time and money well back to this new door in the kitchen this will be counter space you got to get those mirrors off I think I'm just going to have to put a bunch of duct tape on them and just bust them and get them off of there and probably have to replace that whole piece of drywall to get rid of them not that I have anything against mirrors but I'm not going to be able to work new counter space in here with the mirrors glued to the wall like they are so that's got to go but the door the reason I spent the money I spent on this glass door and uh, and it opens like that and the reason I did that is because I thought right off the kitchen here would be nice to have a little deck out here with a barbecue and a couple of chairs um, right there on the kitchen instead of having to go down steps and outside to a barbecue I thought it'd be ten times better to just have it right here on the kitchen wall and it's and it's it's out here on the front you know on the side where once the landscaping is cleaned up the the, uh, the view over there would be uh, pretty good get this junk out of my driveway that car that somebody left here about three or three years ago and this trailer somebody else left here they want me to do a bunch of welding on it and I don't want to but it's there and I don't have time to bother with it so that is so much for the kitchen for the moment don't know exactly what the plan is going to be other than all of this cabinets are coming out and new stuff is coming in and I don't know when it'll be a while because it's a lot of money got wiring done on this inside wall I had to tear the drywall off of it and it is glued on a lot of its glued on so I'm gonna have to buy a new tool and try it out I could take a sawzall and trim all of this drywall off of these studs but I don't have one of those those multi-tool that vibrating multi-tool I think they call I forgot what it's called but I don't have one but I think that would be a perfect tool for this to clean that off anyway that new yellow wire there and it goes behind this there's an outlet down there an outlet here nice cold air blowing off the air conditioner um, and as those outlets go up here out across the ceiling because we're going to put a drop ceiling in so we'll have wires up there here's something I'm learning that's new um, oh before I get to that new thing had some <coughs> excuse me had some mold in the drywall drywall was kind of broken and coming loose when I kind of pressed on it 
feeling for where the studs were. It just kind of fell through between. So I pulled that whole piece of drywall off. It is uh, not a good piece and found out that there's not a nailer behind this. It just had corners that were kind of glued together with a piece of cornering that was glued in there. So I have to take this piece off and put a nailer in. For those that aren't familiar with construction, that's just another piece of wood behind this and nail it to something in there so that I have something to nail the drywall to, this piece of drywall, so it's not just the end of it's not just floating like that. So I'll have to take that piece off and fix that. But I'm kind of set on the idea of this being the master bedroom is taking this closet space out completely has a water heater in there that'll still be the water heater closet and that's fine but this part of the closet we'll take that off and this cabinet standing here was in the toilet room I'm going to take this corner bathtub out of here and build a I'm going to build a walk-in closet in that corner taking this sink out and taking this shower out and I'm going to put a standard shower tub one piece shower tub kit in here but it's going to be a little bit longer than that one is this one's like 54 inches 55 I forgot it needs to be at least 60 inches and um, I'll buy one, get it here, and then we will take this wall out the rest of the way and move out whatever I need to, the plumbing or whatever. It has the, the PEX uh, plastic flexible plumbing in here, and so assuming that that's not damaged, I'm, I'm hoping it's not. I haven't put water to the place yet. Um, Anyway, we'll just continue on with that, that flexible PEX tubing. That cabinet over there was in the bathroom here. I'm sorry I'm swinging the camera too fast. I know it, it's not going to pick that up good. Toilet needs to be replaced. I can't, no, I don't, there's a crack along the side of it down here. And I think there was one on the other side, I don't remember, but I know that um, it's frozen and broke. And so that needs to go. And uh, like I said, this wall is going to go. And it'll, it'll be, the wall will be put back on, but moved out a little bit. And um, I learned that these cabinets and fixtures cabinets and and uh whatnot look at that water stains all down on the bottom of that thing down there this thing had water coming out of it these cabinets are built in place it's not a complete unit that you bring in here and set it against the wall and fasten it down uh it is partially that way but a lot of it is just in pieces that are assembled and attached in pieces to the wall and then continue to build onto that and I, I didn't know that mobile homes were built that way but I'm finding out that there's more and more of that in here so so much for that part of this uh, um, update thanks for watching